rolling. 2X or 20 episode 208 of We Watch Whedon. Let me do it again. Episode ah. We Watch Whedon, episode 208, The Dark Age. Take one. Sorry. <laughs> Failed that one. So I've decided that I am going to spend the next four hours doing this video right here. I've been wanting to do it for a while. I was gonna start working on my podcast because I'm months behind on that, but you know, we'll get to it. I wanted to do this, and but look at the time on this sucker. Um, feel free to uh, subscribe to this guy's channel because he has a very thorough tutorial. Kyle was too scared, he had to go. He couldn't even. And I played the scarecrow in Wizard of Oz in high school. We watch Winchester, episode 111, take one, three, two, one. So I'm just trying to get caught up on everything as my sister is coming in on Friday. I was about to go Lyft driving to make some money because I could use the funds and I realized that with my sister coming next week, I'm not gonna have a lot of free time to work on all of my shows. So I've decided that I'm gonna use the rest of this day, as boring as it is, to just do as many episodes as I can in advance. It's Tuesday. This is the first time I've left my house in days. I've just been trying to get stuff ready for next week and I'm also kind of trying to get my channel figured out trying to figure out how I can finally make money. For me to spend over a year of time and not profit from something is really hard for me. Again, I know, be a person first, be a producer second. And um, that I can definitely do, which is why I'm doing this vlog, for example. It's time that I step it up and change things. I don't know where this channel is gonna go. I don't know how long I'm gonna be constantly doing uh, an episode out five days a week. For now, that's what people are getting. They may not get it exactly um, at noon Pacific Standard Time slash 3 p.m. Eastern, but they are getting it. And I am making sure in some form or another, I am keeping my promise. It's crazy, but part of the other issue is since I did use all of my data when I was in Anaheim for VidCon, I kind of have to stay at home where there's Wi-Fi. <laughs> I'm going to go pick up a cake for my roommate because her birthday is the 4th of July. And I'm also going to pick up food for me. So today is Wednesday, July 4th, 2018. And uh, we hung out at my friend Anita's house. We played some Cards Against Humanity for a few hours, ate some grub. And now we gotta celebrate my roommate's birthday because it is indeed her birthday. My sister comes in in two days. I'm excited about that and I'm looking forward to spending time with her. I'm just trying to follow the universe and let things kind of guide me along. It's as weird as that sounds. So I'm gonna relax today and I'll continue to do this vlog because it feels healthy. It's like a video diary. Yeah, I just wanted to give you an update. My sister comes to town on Friday. I'm excited, looking forward to spending time with her. Friday. Oh, I look super nerdy because I'm in the middle of uh, getting a lot of work done and my eyes are super sensitive, so yes. I nerd out when I'm trying to get as much work done as possible. So, I'm not positive, but it's about the time to pick up my sister and it looks like that very well could be her plane. So, I am the worst vlogger ever lately, but my sister's in town and we just got poke, which for anyone who isn't familiar is sushi in a bowl. Show the most disgusting looking Kyle. Yeah, well, we just ate it, so. <laughs> I'm gonna get better at this vlogging stuff. Oh, and I got my glasses that I'm finally wearing, so there you go. I am now uh, wearing wet pants because I had a bleach spot, but they're mostly dry, and uh, everyone around me has been telling me I shouldn't wear them, which they're probably right, but I thought. I blow dried the areas that were important, so. But I put them, I, I dried the areas that there's. Yes. We're headed to Greg and John's show, which is actually, they're the guest of, but it's a featured event. I believe this is part of a Hollywood Fringe event. It is at the Arena Cinema. Now I know, so what we want to do is after we answer the questions, is roll the clip from the movie. And I know everyone's going to want to see like the Rocky montage, JT in the audience. So we're just driving around LA. We just drove through Beverly Hills and now we're going to West Hollywood. Just kind of doing something with her. 
Lazy Sunday. It's at a ranch. It's a sour ranch. That sounds disgusting. My craft. So I am headed to be recorded as a guest for a podcast, a movie menu, um, similar to movie on the menu, but I swear I didn't steal their name. And they're going to ask me my thoughts and opinions on the recent film Ant-Man and the Wasp. So that's where I'm headed now while my sister takes a nap. I just parked and now I'm walking over. This will be a fun little podcast. Yeah. So yeah, Yay. here we go. Welcome, merchant. New mission. Guys, this is Kyle. Okay. I mean, where are we gonna set up for next? It's film, like an original film. Welcome, so welcome. Much for being on the show. Thank you very much. Woo. The second movie definitely was more fun for me. A little more complicated plot than the first one. <laughs> for, for sure. sure. Yeah. Speaking of what you said about Evangeline Lilly, this was the movie that really like put a spotlight on her. But yeah. more than that, the relationship between her and Scott was like at the forefront. Yeah. It was natural chemistry yeah. and it, you understood their relationship and, and how they got to where they get mm -hmm. in the film. Peyton Reed now had the opportunity to just take this and go whatever direction, you know, he creatively yeah. wanted to go. Mm -hmm. So he had nothing holding him back. I put on new content five days a week nice. on Fan Theory TV. It's youtube.com slash Fan Theory TV. Or you can follow me personally at the Kylerman. Nice. Awesome. Thank you so much, Kyle. So that was fun. Hopefully I didn't talk too much. Uh, I hope they have me on again. It was I really enjoyed meeting Michael, who is kind of the sound guy there. We're going to kind of collaborate on our strengths, since I'm more of a visual guy and he's more of an audio guy. So who knows what will happen, but hopefully I can, we can work together on... Uh, oof, got dogs everywhere. It's my last day with my sister here. Better make the most of it. Good morning! So with YouTube, there is the small victories, you know, because you're not going to make money, not not from YouTube, at least not directly. I'm just looking at my vidIQ here, and I'm very excited because if you notice, 94% of the way to 4,000 hours of watch time. To be eligible for the YouTube Partner Program, you must reach 4,000 hours of watch time and 1,000 subscribers. Well, we are currently at 1311. I'm really close. <laughs> 94%. I just need to get a little bit more people watching and I'm finally within their requirements. Now granted, this is within the last 12 months, which means I need to keep this going consistently forever, which means that that's only going to stay as long as I make more programming, which so I can't really pull back. And I'm already five days a week, which is, trust me, a lot. I thank you vidIQ for all this great data. Car and I are having breakfast at Earth Cafe. The breakfast has yet to come, but the coffee is definitely here. She's drinking herself some kind of mint green tea. Mint green tea. We got some nice, more than warm <laughs> room temperature water that Carta was so gracious to let us have ice cubes from her beverage to make it now room temperature water. And I've got myself a breve de latte. Some kitties. Ah. So Carla on her last day and I are gonna go to Universal today to just kind of hang out for a bit and then call it a night. Maybe we'll make some pretzels later or something. <laughs> so this just opened. Um, been under construction for a while. This is where they used to have Shrek 4D and now it's Pumpkin Pan Adventure.
you're enough. We're on the tour right now, and she's close. looking at the World of the Worlds set. I'm gonna get on a plane at 7 a.m. tomorrow. It's comforting. some gas because we were almost out we almost like broke down now we both have to pee really bad so we're on our way home we're almost there finally and Carter's got to pa get packed up and we have to leave early in the morning to get to the airport before 7 a.m. because <laughs> your flight's my flight's taking off at 7 a.m. and yes what a long day I'm sure it's I have a fun day I'm sure I have poo or pee to clean up for my dogs when I get home it's 1 30 in the morning I've tried to sleep I even have the sound machine running, I'm getting nowhere. I think deep down I can't sleep because I've got too much in my mind, but I have certain things I have to take care of. And for a person with ADHD, this is a lot. My sister's leaving, I had a really good time with her, and I'm sad that she's leaving. I feel bad for my poor dogs, they're just trying to sleep next to me. Yes, it's rough. But yeah, gotta get up super early. I only have like maybe three hours of sleep to go, and then I just found out that Greg and John of The Real Rejects invited me to go see Skyscraper 40X tomorrow at 1. So dropping my sister off, hopefully getting enough sleep tonight, which isn't going to happen. I had coffee and I can't stop thinking about the fact that my sister's leaving tomorrow and I'm sad. Just dropped off my sister. That was sad. Had to rush though because I wanted to make sure I didn't get her late because I'd feel really bad. Generally it doesn't take very long to get to the Burbank airport. I am super tired, I couldn't sleep last night. I think it's because deep down I was bothered by the fact that my sister was leaving today and I got so used to having her around. So I was really bummed out about that. So I'm exhausted, my sister messaged me and she said to me that she just barely made it to her flight. I feel really bad about that, but I'm glad she made it. I'm hoping she has a very safe flight home. Head rush. Better now. Forty X. Let's do it. Well, yeah. oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> it was probably, probably the coolest Forty X experience thus far, too. So yeah, I agree. Props to the labs. The Rock can do anything. He doesn't need two legs. He is a bad. He will do anything for his family. It was super fun, especially in the 40X. Very, very fun. I agree. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Best Tom Cruise performance. Dude, Sarah Michelle Gellar as his wife was awesome. It's nice to get a 90s horror screen queen back. It was awesome. <laughs> Michael, Sarah, and Jonah Hill? Yeah, yeah. The it's... Rock's kids. Yeah. Vlogging? <laughs> Vlogging? Yeah. So yesterday I was super bummed because <clears throat> A video that I was really excited about, an episode of We Watch Whedon, and I got a little carefree with because I, I loved the way that it turned out. I loved the charisma that both Lauren and I put across in the video. I overlooked spoiling things for Lauren. This is an older episode. I know it's not old to anyone who's watched it, but we filmed all of these other episodes quite a long time ago, but it sucks because everyone was mad at me. And sometimes, you know, considering YouTube is against me, at every turn, the only thing that keeps me going is that at least I know that people like my stuff. Ah, I mean, and at the same time, it's like it had to be said because if people don't like something, I want them to tell me. But boy, did everyone not like it. Uh, and that really just, I don't know, sucked the soul right out of me. But they're right, and it's better that I hear this stuff. Most of the comments were fairly positive and more of a critique. There was one in particular that called me an arse hole. That sucked, because uh, I'm really not. I was definitely not paying attention. 
And I have to always remember that I'm not just doing this for fun, that I'm actually doing this for people's entertainment. I understand why people got annoyed with me. But boy, did I ever really kick myself in the gut. And then today, of course, I get this. I get this all the time. It's a little bit of a panic when I get them because it makes me wonder if I'm gonna get my channel kicked offline. I'm afraid to start up a different YouTube account because I'm afraid no one's ever gonna look at it or they'll be annoyed that they have to follow two different accounts. I'm worried that if I don't have sort of a backup account that I'll just lose all my following or no one will know how to find me. I think very soon I intend to have a separate account called We Watch Weekly. It's sort of like insurance, so in case YouTube decides to take my channel offline, as it's now become more and more of a fear of mine with how incredibly tough it's becoming. <laughs> so if you guys want, I think starting next week, I'm gonna premiere the We Watch Weekly channel. I hope you guys can look it up and follow it. Hopefully you guys like it. It's gonna be all We Watch content. I might still put my Kylerman's vlog on there. I don't know. We're in a transitional phase, but I hope that in time people can forgive me and understand and support and be awesome, like many of you have been. It's just constantly a, a fear. All of my We Watch content, at least on the Whedon end, has been blocked worldwide, and I've had to re-release edits. I've gotten some great suggestion from After Show Reactions. If you guys aren't following them, please do. They're a fantastic channel. She gave me a lot of great information on Twitter, which I've already talked about in this video. This has been a weird week, kind of a downer week, but <sighs> onward and upward, I guess.